guess what I'm looking for? I'm looking for my shadow. Do you know what a shadow is? You know that image of you when you're walking during the day, you either see it beside you, on your front, or sometimes it can even come out of your back. That's your shadow. And today, we are going to be talking about shadowing. But before we continue, let us pray. Put your hands together, your eyes closed, and your heads bow. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you for a new month. We thank you for the grace to see another month. And so, Father, we thank you for our families. Thank you for our teachers. We thank you for ourselves. Thank you for giving us good health, O oh God. And so, Father, we pray that as we go into our Bible adventure today, you will help us to learn so that we can be good and wonderful children. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Today is the first Sunday in June. And do you know what our custom is in church? It's a day we come for Thanksgiving. A day we come to thank God for all the good things he has done for us in the last month. I don't know if you are ready. Because me, I'm very ready. Put on your dancing shoes. Let's go give God some praise. Are you ready to praise God this morning? Are you ready to give him praise today? Come on, I can't hear you. Are you ready to praise him? Come on, let's praise him together. We will sing of his mercy. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Do you know it? I need to be sure. Do you know this? Can we sing it together? Are you sure we can sing it together? Let's go. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Let me hear you say. Are you sure you know it? Do you need help? Come on, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you're sure now. Come on. Let's do it again one more time. I will sing. I will sing. Yeah. That's good. I love your voice. Yeah, I love the way you sound. And I'm sure God loves the way you sound too. Come on. Let's say it one more time again. I will sing. I will sing of the mercy. Let's do it this way. I will clap to the goodness of the Lord forever. I will clap. Come on. I will clap. I will clap to the goodness of the Lord forever. I will clap to the goodness. 
your welcome back children i hope you had fun i had fun too praising god you know like i told you today is the first month of june and this month we are going to be talking about living a life of service and our topic for today is the desire to serve have you heard of that before desire to serve what does it mean to serve you know sometimes when you help mommy and daddy at home help them get something help them do something you are actually serving yeah yes you are serving and then the desire to serve means the interest to serve i want to serve that means i have the desire to serve and so that's our topic for today the desire to serve i'm sure you have not forgotten what we learned last month last month we talked about kingdom children yes i know we are all kingdom children kingdom children are god's children they always want to serve and don't forget our memory verse for that last month it tells us a lot more about kingdom children because the bible said do not disturb the children let the children come to me do not stop them because what the kingdom of god is for them that are like children imagine do you know what that means god takes you and i very seriously god takes children very very seriously because we are kingdom children kingdom children are ready to save they are ready to share their knowledge they are ready to share what they have and do you know another thing kingdom children are not too small to serve oh. they are not too old to serve either so even if you're one year old you're two years old you're three years old and you're four years old you can serve and you can be a leader too that's why we are kingdom children so today like we talked about shadowing shadowing is a way you follow people who are doing what you like people who you you want to learn from and our bible characters for today are moses and joshua joshua followed moses everywhere he went you know why because joshua had the desire to serve so he wanted to learn from moses so anytime you see someone doing something you like you have to follow the person observe the person look at what that person is doing so that you can learn that's how to learn and that is what we mean by shadowing joshua was able to learn to serve because he followed moses everywhere do you remember the story of moses moses was that man he was a man of god and god loved him and used them mightily do you remember a time god gave him the 10 commandments do you know what commandments are commandments are instructions god wanted to tell people what to do and what to do at every point in time and he gave us instructions it was moses that god gave those instructions i'm sure you remember what instructions are anytime you're doing your schoolwork or homework at home there's always an instruction and you read your instruction to follow and do what you're asked to do so moses was that man that god gave 10 instructions for us and that the instructions we call them the ten commandments and those are the instructions we are following till today and that's why we are kingdom children because we follow god's instructions yes and because joshua joshua wanted to serve but he didn't know what to do and so he started following moses and because moses was always busy sometimes he can go to the mountain to hear from god he's always busy and sometimes he's tired 
So he needed somebody to help him. Well, because Joshua was bold, Joshua was courageous, Joshua wanted to serve. Joshua had the desire to serve and that's why he followed Moses. I'm sure you know that you can serve wherever you are. You can serve in the house, even in your classrooms. You can serve. You can help auntie pack up the crayons. You can help auntie pack up the pencils and put them in their pack. That's how to serve. You know, you have to serve wherever you find yourself, no matter how old you are. Joshua was bold and courageous. And that's why when God brought out the children of Israel from Egypt. Remember that story, that land of bondage. And they were going in the wilderness for a long time, but God promised them a land. But that land, they've not gone there. They needed some people to go and spy the land. And Joshua was one of the people that Moses sent. Because he was bold and courageous, they went to the land of Canaan, spied it, and came back with good results. Joshua went with Caleb and 10 other men. Those 10 other men, I don't think they were strong and courageous. But Joshua and Caleb were strong, so they believed they can conquer Canaan. Yes, I'm sure by now you know what it takes to, to serve. You need to be strong. You need to be courageous. And today, before we close our Bible adventure today, we are going to pray, children. We are going to pray so that God can give us the grace to be bold and courageous so that we can serve like Joshua did. So I want you to close your eyes, put your hands together, and let us pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you for our Bible adventure today. We know that of ourselves, we are nothing. And by ourselves, we cannot do anything. And so, Lord, we ask for your grace to be strong and for your grace to be courageous so that we can learn to serve you anywhere we find ourselves. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. All right, children, and it's now our memory verse time for today. Our memory verse today is taken from the book of Psalms. Have you heard that before? Yes, Psalms, the Psalms of David, chapter 100 and verse 2. Psalm 100, verse 2. And it says, Serve the Lord with gladness and come to him with singing. Can we say that again? Serve the Lord with gladness and come to him with singing. That's our memory verse. And our activity time today will be a very simple task. You know, we talked about shadowing. So we're going to show you a picture on the screen. Yes, a picture of two people so your task today is to identify who is Moses and who is Joshua. You can indicate by circling them and writing their names and you can snap that and send it to us to the email you find on your screen. Until we come your way again next week, children, it is bye-bye.